All right, so JavaScript suggests auto imports. Enable disable auto import suggestions requires using TypeScript 2.6.1 or newer in the workspace. So what is what is this auto imports? So when you have, um, let's delete this import right here. And when you have, oh, by the way, this auto imports have uh, quite a bit of context that I need to explain to you. Um, and I went over that context in these two files, the in these two videos, the um, import module specifier and the quote style. But in case you just dropped on this video, I'm going to explain that again over very quick, very quickly. So, by default, VS Code just interprets your JavaScript file as a standalone file, and it can read uh, files that you import in that file, right? So if because we're making these imports. VS Code can actually give you con contextual information that's coming from those files, but uh, otherwise it's not aware of other files in your in your project. So how do you make VS Code aware of all the files you have in your project? And you do that by adding a jsconfig.json file. Uh, if it's a JavaScript project or a tsconfig.json file, if it's a TypeScript project, and the file doesn't really need to contain anything. Uh, it can be empty, uh, but that the, the fact that the file is here is enough to to say to VS Code, listen, this is a JavaScript file, this is a JavaScript project, so please scan the whole the whole um, folder tree, so and give me more contextual information. Okay, so you need to have that JS config that JSON file there, and if you set the auto imports uh, setting to true. This is what happens when you start writing a new um, a new statement. It's going to suggest uh, components that would otherwise not be seen. And the, the with that setting set to true, take a look at what happens to the import statements when I select the add new price component. It's automatically going to add this import statement right here, right? So um, if we set that to false, where is it? There we go. So that wait, false. And we try that again. Um, it's not even uh, suggesting that component because uh, it can't see it, right? So um, because it cannot, because the auto import statement is set to false, uh, it's not even going to uh, suggest that for you. So. As you can imagine, this is a very useful feature. And now you have access to add new price and other uh, components in your project. You select it and it automatically adds the import statement for you. Actually, you don't need this because I have an index that uh, automatically exports everything from add new, but I mean from add new price, this one right here. Uh, so this is what the setting does. Obviously, this is very useful. So I'm going to leave the setting set to true.